Superior capsular reconstruction can be used to treat irreparable rotator cuff tears. To begin, tenodes the biceps tendon using the Tenolock Dual Expanding Tenodesis Anchor. Then, prepare the superior glenoid and greater tuberosity using ConMed Stealth Shaver Blade. Use a spinal needle to identify the desired glenoid anchor positioning. Insert the Why Not Flex drill guide and prepare a pilot hole for the 1.8 mm double loaded anchor. Then, insert the Why Not Pro Flex with Hi Fi ribbon all suture anchor. Remove the driver, which uncleats the sutures automatically. Set and deploy the anchor by pulling back on all the suture limbs and remove the guide. Next, insert and set a second double loaded Why Not Pro Flex anchor. Why Not Pro anchors contract vertically and expand laterally to provide 360 degree form fit fixation beneath the cortex. Then, remove one suture from each anchor. Next, use an arthroscopic ruler to obtain graft measurements. First, measure the distance between the two glenoid anchors and then measure the length of the footprint on the greater tuberosity. Then, measure the distance between the anterior glenoid anchor and the anterior greater tuberosity footprint. Finally, measure the distance between the posterior glenoid anchor and the posterior greater tuberosity footprint. Transfer the measurements onto the Allopatch HD, which is a minimally processed, high-quality, acellular human dermis allograft that is ready to use off the shelf in minutes. Leave a 3 to 5 millimeter border on all sides of the graft and trim to size. Using ConMed's red 8 millimeter dry dock cannula, Pull one limb of suture from each glenoid anchor through the lateral portal. Pass the suture limbs through the Allopatch HD, tie five stick knots on each limb, and trim the excess. Next, lightly fold the graft in half and use a grasper to assist with passage through the cannula. Pull on the free suture limbs to shuttle the graft onto the glenoid. Then, retrieve both stick knots and the other suture limbs. Use a knot pusher to tie knots that secure the allograft to the glenoid. Then, use the katana suture cutter to cut the sutures. Next, insert a double-loaded Why Not Pro RC with Hi-Fi ribbon all suture anchor near the articular margin and remove the driver. Set the anchor by pulling back on all the suture limbs. Then, insert a second Why Not Pro RC all suture anchor and set the anchor. Use ConMed Spectrum Auto Pass to pass all four limbs of Hi Fi ribbon through the Allopatch HD in a mattress stitch fashion. ConMed's Hi Fi ribbon is tieable, flat, and 1.3 millimeters wide to provide broader compression. When passing is complete, tie knots medially. Next, Insert the Argo Knotless Broaching Punch down to the depth mark. Then, load two Hi-Fi ribbon limbs from each medial anchor into the Argo Knotless Anchor using the Black Threader tab. Insert the nose of the eyelet into the pilot hole and set tension as needed by individually pulling and cleating each suture limb onto the white suture cleat while applying counterpressure to the back of the driver handle. While holding the white suture cleat stationary, turn the blue handle clockwise to insert the anchor to the depth mark. Then, uncleat the sutures from the white suture cleat and also uncleat the 1mm Hi-Fi retention ribbon on the back of the blue handle. Then, simply press the quick release driver button on the back of the blue handle and pull back to remove the driver handle. Next, insert a second Argo Knotless Broaching Punch and Anchor. The extended peak eyelet helps reduce the risk of pilot hole misalignment while the vented design may promote bony ingrowth. Finally, cut the suture tails to complete the repair. As an option, free suture can be passed through the surrounding cuff tissue and allograft to provide more coverage over the humeral head and link the allograft to the remnant cuff.